Hello RC fans, this is uh, Tim and I'm bringing to you the E-Flight F4 Phantom which I'm about to install from the RC Geek the center afterburner ring that's 32 millimeters and we'll be getting into that here in a little bit but first about this aircraft, it's flown three times and it flies really great I'm not using the safe mode or safe select on this aircraft uh, but I am using the AS3X for stabilization and it works really well. Aircraft flies well, really good. Retracts work really well. Lands great. Uh, all parameters set by the instructions. So uh, today what I'm going to do for you is uh, show you how the install of the afterburner ring is going to go in. This is the box that it came in just a little bit ago and uh, from the RC Geek and we're going to open this box up here in front of you for the first time and we're going to see what this uh, afterburner ring looks like. Without any further ado we'll cut into this box. I hope we don't cut any wires that may be in here or myself for that matter. But uh, should be a pretty interesting put together and Open this box up and see what we can see and how it's all put together. So, <clears throat> put that on the floor of the box. Nice little packaging and it comes with instructions. So, with that in mind, this is going to make it a little bit easier to manipulate. It also has all the wiring that you possibly could need, the uh, spare JST fitting for your uh, two cell battery, and the lights are right here in this piece, and it's got the controller here in this piece, and this goes on a Y lead, I believe, to the uh, speed control and the receiver. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing started and take the airplane apart underneath and start installing this thing and show you how it all goes together. Okay the next thing I did uh, took the canopy off and uh, put the Y harness into the throttle channel which on uh, this is a channel 1 so I did that first before I go installing everything else and I've got my elongated tool here to pull the wires through all the way there that I got out of the A10 kit <clears throat> when I got that. So I save a lot of pieces out of other kits to utilize and that was one piece that I've used on just about everything now and so uh, we'll start taking this apart flip it upside down and show you where to go next. And these are the batteries I'm using to uh, use on this aircraft the 6250 from uh, Roaring Top to run the engine and this little small little guy this two cell 1000 milliamp pack to run the afterburner ring because it requires a, a two cell lipo and uh, this will fit just nicely inside the fuse lodge and I'll be able to show you that exactly where that's gonna fit right up inside up on the top side of this piece right up right up here against the roof of this top part there's a roof in there there's enough room between the 6250 to put that up there and secure it in place with uh, industrial strength velcro from 3m okay now we have to remove this bottom plate to where the uh, fan motor is two millimeter socket heads now that we've got to remove and we'll get that out of there and get to the engine or I should say the motor okay we got uh, four cap screws to undo here to get the motor out and then we'll get the uh, afterburner ring set on the back side of this uh, motor okay one of the other things too is that this plastic piece is glued to the foam but it has to come off so you can get behind it and uh, try to wiggle this whole piece of foam out of this hole freely because it's wedged in there pretty good 
Uh, even though it's held in with screws and all and screwed down, it was glued in. So I pulled it up and uh, it does have some of that rubber cement on the back side to hold that onto the foam. I will probably redo that once I'm totally complete. Okay, we got the uh, lights put on here. It slips right over the motor itself. However, uh, not included are three millimeter screws that you would have to put into three holes here to hold the lights in place. Uh, that's for this E-Flight F4 uh, system that's uh, here. So right there, you'll have to get some three millimeter screws from your local hardware store or your hobby shop, wherever. Just need three of them and fasten that in place that way so it doesn't move and slide off and also uh, sliding the motors motor wires in through this slot that's right here so they would come out and go into the other motor wires that go to the speed controller the ESC so with all that being uh, said and done I color coded it so everything goes on the correct way we got the red to red uh, this black wire has got to go on the red yellow to yellow and the other one's uh, standard uh, to the other side of the wire because you got the three wire system here so with that being said I'll have to uh, put this off for this evening until I get some three millimeter screws for set screws to put in there and uh, get this thing tightened down then we'll get it installed into the airplane. I gave it a test run a little while ago and the lights seemed to work exactly where I want them to work. So uh, we'll go from there. Alright, set so screws are in place for the afterburner lights. There's three of them. Got the one on top and two sides. And the wire's been pulled through all the way through the bottom there goes against the side over there and we come out here uh, right at the intakes right here where the canopy goes so that would be all that nice looking plane overall so here's what I did I pulled it through all the way through the top here and then I'm going to uh, Velcro the uh, two cell battery up on top underneath here inside the canopy area and the six volt battery will fit. Alright we got the uh, 6250 in there it's all the way shoved back as far as it will go. I also have the 2S Velcroed up with uh, industrial strength Velcro up above the 6250 and it will be held in place that way and everything fits fine canopy goes on just right and I had to use a uh, 12 inch extension for the afterburner uh, so it would come all the way up to the front so you would have to get a extension to uh, get it all the way up to the front I've tried to feed it through but it uh, wouldn't all go all the way through it was too, a little bit too short so I put a 12 inch extension on there and everything works fine. Alright, got the uh, everything going now. Got the ailerons, got your flaps, got the elevator incorporated. I'm using the F mode, flight modes for that. Elevator, rudder, and we've got the afterburners. 